Hello, welcome to Cloud Developer. Today we're going to be making a simple HTML website and we're going to be storing it and publishing in AWS S3. S3 stands for Simple Storage Service and it's basically Amazon's service that allows you to upload vast amounts of data, essentially unlimited amounts of data into buckets. So we're going to cover all that from beginning to end and all you need is an AWS account. Remember, if you don't know or you don't have an account right now, there is a link at the bottom of this video in the description where I'm going to be able to show you how to make one. You will need a credit card to make, but you will not incur in any charges uh, doing this tutorial. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is all right, so I have here a folder, an empty folder, as you can see, there's nothing in it right now. And I'm gonna use VS Code for this tutorial, but you can use Sublime, you can use Atom, you can use whatever you want, even a text editor, the simplest text editor will do for uh, today's purposes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create an index.html file. And in here, I'm gonna use uh, the Emmet extension. And what I need to do is just write HTML. And as you can see, there is a, a very basic HTML5 boilerplate. So I click on that and I get all this code. It's essentially the boilerplate that you need to have an HTML document, which consists of the HTML tag, uh, the head, the metas, the title, uh, and the body. And so for the for in, all intents and purposes today is going to be very simple. So what I'm going to do is in the body area, I'm going to put an H1 tag and it's going to say hello world. My name is Carlos and then I'm going to do an H2 tag and I'm going to say welcome to my S3 website. And let's use a little bit of uh, JavaScript and CSS just to make sure that you um, understand and are able to upload all those files also to your S3. So I'm going to do an H3 file and it's going to say today is and I'm going to do a span tag and an ID uh, equals, let's say now and close that tag and OK, let's leave it at that for now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a index, no, uh, script .js, a JavaScript file. And in here, I'm just going to add um, the little logic that goes into displaying um, the current date the moment you reload or load for the first time your page. So I'm going to put let uh, now var equals new date. OK, and now I need to get a hold of, um, let's say, let's time of the document element by ID. Document dot get element by ID. And I think it was called now my ID that I put in the span. Yeah, here. So in here is where I want the time to be displayed. And it's called now. OK, and now what I need to do is to do time dot inner HTML is going to be to now var. If you don't understand what is happening here, it's, it's OK. This is a basic, very basic JavaScript. But essentially what's happening is I'm generating a new date. I'm taking the date from the system and I'm saving it in this now var variable. And then this time variable is grabbing the element in the document, which is called now. And after that, I'm going to add the date onto this variable dot h inner html and uh, we can start testing that's so why i need to save and save and uh right now it's not activated but let me restart my vs code after i save and you'll see uh, a very useful extension that i use is should appear here it's loading go live this go live is an extension that you can install in your uh system and as you can see, you can see we can see now the the website. Well, hello, my name is Carlos. Welcome to my S3 website. Today is blah blah blah. And why is it not displaying? It's because I have not linked this script document into my HTML. So what I need to do there is actually already a most of it most of the code here is here. So I'm just gonna link find my script.js, save come back and as you can see now the date is now displayed like all this is added by javascript now the site is looking kind of plain it's pretty ugly i mean super basic which is really what we're doing today so i'm just quickly i'm gonna do a styles.css just to give it some uh, colors 
and design very quickly. I'm gonna maybe put the H1 tag color as uh, blue. Okay, and we had an, um, an H3, I believe we had one. Maybe let's start the font uh, style. No, not font size, font style. Maybe, I don't know, italic. And the body, uh, let's put a, a background color. Background color and maybe some kind of like light gray or silver I like. Okay, I'm gonna save that. And I also need to relate this um, document in, to my HTML file. So in here, I just need to go into here, uh, href. I'm gonna find my styles.css, save that. And as you can see, well, the, uh, the color is now blue. This is italics. I mean, I could change more things here and there, but uh, the, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center this so it's not all on one side. Normally, you probably would do it in CSS, but I have a little trick here that I use sometimes because centering in CSS can be a pain in the ass. So when it's something kind of simple, like what we're doing, I use the center tag in your HTML, like this. I save, and it's now all center. So I saved myself a lot of hassle using the Flexbot or something like that, okay? Uh, all right, so now we have this tiny website, um, and I wanna publish it in Amazon S3. So this is in this folder now uh, that I have here on my desktop. In here, there's just three files, index, HTML, script, JS, st style, CSS. I'm going to put it back where I have Amazon S3. So I'm going to go to the console. So you log into your console, you put your password. You should have your multi-factor authentication. So your mobile phone that generates a random code every time you log in. That's part of another video. So what you need is just be able that you make that you are able to get into the main console of AWS. Once you're there, uh, I'm in Tokyo, Japan, so I usually work in this region right here, Tokyo. But S3 is global, so it doesn't matter what region you are, it's going to be the same for everybody. So I'm going to click on S3, or if it's not there, you can look here in, in the search bar, click on it. And I use S3 quite a bit, so I have already 11 buckets, but I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to create a bucket here, and I'm going to give it a name. So simple HTML... And you cannot use uh, uppercase character. Simple HTML site. Uh, region Asia Pacific. Copy, exit. Okay, that's gonna go next. Um, we don't need any of that. We can just leave as default. You can add tags. Okay, I'm gonna unblock all public access. Amazon AWS is quite panicky about you know allowing you public access to things. But because this is gonna be a website, this is exactly what we want. So you untick that box and you are going to... Okay. Block all public access. I acknowledge the current settings might result in this bucket and objects uh, becoming public. Yes. So I'm going to click on that. Go next. Uh, review all your settings. I create my bucket. Right. And I'm going to look for it is this one right here so click on that and now I'm gonna upload my files what I do is I click on upload and then in here I can just uh, drag and drop these three files that I created go next and then in here this is important you need to grant public read access to these objects and it tells you again this is gonna make it public but this is what you want for this case so go next uh, let's leave it at standard and we're gonna upload it's gonna upload really quickly because this, this is just little files, so it should be very quick. Um, and then the last thing you need to do is to come onto your uh, properties tab. There is a static website hosting. So you click on it, and we're gonna click on the option that says use this bucket to host a website. So click on that, and you can leave this by default because this is the names that we use, but we can just write again index.html. I'm gonna leave everything else by default. You save that. 
and then we click on this box again and now you can find here your address so this is the address that you can share with your friends or you know whatever you is that you're doing that whenever you need to publish something and i'm gonna click on that and as you can see this is now in it's called simple html site.s3 website ap amazon blah 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 this is exact this is what i have on my local host as you can see this is local host and this is what i have on my site and that's pretty much it so this really doesn't cost you anything amazon just uh, charges you for the amount of information that leaves amazon so not when you upload but when you download so when it's a simple site like this it's not going to be much traffic it's essentially free uh for you so it's really simple the only limitation is this is designed for a static simple website so if you're going to be using a framework like react or Vue or something like that i'll make a tutorial in a different video because you might want to use aws amplify instead and not s3 because s3 uh, if you upload all the webpack and all that it's going to be a little bit messy i don't recommend so but for little things that is just html css and javascript files like we have in this in this case this is all you need and and that's pretty much it and this is all for today if you have a question please let me know next time i might do the same website on react and then we post it on aws amplify to to make sure that we all understand how it's done uh, with frameworks and at a higher level okay this website can be as complicated as you want for instance i have a personal project called gamerguest.com is hosted on s3 is pure vanilla html css and javascript and what it is you can go and have a play uh, essentially it's a little game that um, allows you to try to recognize which video game is that as you can see i like video games like retro games so i can identify this is do it's double dragon 2 but if you make a mistake the image gets a little bit less blurry less blurry um, and if you are if you manage to guess it you get points you know, and then you can get your own your own score in the end. So have a play. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this because this is all hosted in Amazon S3. In fact, I can show you the uh, bucket somewhere. It's probably this one. Sorry, I have a lot of buckets. Uh, I think it's this one. Guess that game. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you with that. And uh, uh, please comment, subscribe, share if you like it. If you find it helpful, I plan to make more videos like this in the future. This is Carlos Salazar for Cloud and Web Developer. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.